What's up? Today is Sunday, I think. We're in Boston. It's sold out. This is the biggest show of the tour. Um, I think we've got like 550 tickets sold, something absolutely insane like that. So I'm really excited. I finally feel like really comfortable with the set enough to like shed and like do solo as well and whatever. So I'm super pumped about that. There's already a line outside the venue, dude. Hold up. Like we haven't even sound checked yet. So I don't know. I'm pumped. We're gonna have a good show today. I'm excited. <laughs> What are we doing today? Uh, I'm trying to uh, get hit by a train. That's sick. Lay down. No. Stop. <laughs> Jake, don't even pretend. Stop. <laughs> 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 some dumb shit, guys. <laughs> some dumb shit. I just want to see it come down the tracks. You can be like that train spotter guy. You know the one with the camera that points his head? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a spot. Salty girl? Yeah, let me see. What up, y'all? Today is Tuesday. We're in Philadelphia. We're playing the uh, the Foundry at the Fillmore. Um, something kind of cool. Sabaton is playing the Fillmore tonight. So this is what I go up the green room to look at. Hey, Paul. Yeah. No, sound in those front fields, please. Bro, they have a tank in their stage plot. Yeah. Like there is a whole makeshift faux tank on stage. That's crazy, dude. <laughs> I thought setting up our tracks so it was hard, like, damn. 
that requires crew, dude. Today. Huh? Sorry, what? I'm watching a UFO video right now. <laughs> Hold on, apparently this is real and this is multiple people's videos from Florida. I'm telling you, bro, they're here. I'm not joking, look at this video. This is like that's crazy, dude. It's multiple people's different perspective because they this happened live time. But that's real. I'm fucked up, bro. I think the ship is having a malfunction. That's wild. <laughs> Anywho, we're in Columbus and we're about to play a rock show and eat Skyline Chili. And it's the second to last show in the tour. I'm really sad because um, I've had so much fun and Ryan's been such a killer drummer. Aww. I got a zit. Aww. <laughs> not good. So, anyways. Hey, we're gonna rip Ohio. We are gonna rip I'd Ohio. Die, dude, I'd die in that pit. Would you? I'd fucking die. <laughs> I forgot to film Pittsburgh because we were stressed out that day. And then all the videos from Philly sucked, so. Uh, so I'll teach it to you real quick. So like, the hardest show and worst is... It's like the thing that I fuck up every night the most. Uh, it's just... Right, so... And then... So just... That's where we stop, and then you've got... I saw this TikTok the other day, and it was like every drummer at Soundtrack, and there was like a guy like trying to get his kick mic going, and he was like... All the metalcore drummers are just like...
homies. It's the last day of tour. We're in Louisville today. We're setting up tracks because it's a headline show. We forgot to book a rehearsal, so we're building the entire session now and rehearsing in the venue before we sound check. So it's gonna be a little bit chaotic, but like, hey, that's how we roll in the John Harvey camp. It's gonna be great. Andrew looks like a highlighter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so to control everything, we got the MPK2, got the pads labeled. We've got laptop A right here running Ableton. Laptop B, all that's going. We've got two wireless mic inputs going into the Apollo because John runs auto tune, because uh, pop, I don't know. Um, this is a Play Audio 12. It's like an interface that lets you run redundant rigs and it's really helpful. So in case one of the laptop dies, like the other one will just take over automatically. Nothing stops. It's really helpful. No, it's kind of it. And then just a little Apollo crammed in there. Not the worst thing in the world. Other than the fucking 14 XLRs. Oh yeah. <laughs> we got a really <laughs> So we had a cable that we left in Charlotte, North Carolina, and since then we've had to use like 14 XLRs to patch everything to the in-ear monitor rig, which is right here. But yeah, if you're a band and you can afford all this stuff, it's really helpful for making performances go smoothly. I have to learn three songs right now, so we're gonna go do that. So I'll start filming when it's time for the show, I guess. Last day of tour. Guys, it's about to play a sick show out of the back of a semi truck and it's gonna be a it's gonna be fun as fuck so hell tuned. yeah how we feeling preston oh my god that's where we're at that's where we're at yep guys just kidding we're at the basement <laughs> east <laughs> hey. hey kelly what are we doing he's gonna set his suit on fire john you're looking nice and sexy today where are we playing the basement east we're about to have a basement feast dude <laughs> We're about to drink some mead, dude. No, but actually, if I don't drink mead at this place right now, I'm not a true Skyrim fan. I and that's up, on God. No, oh, dude, I woke up one day and I realized I was no longer flexible enough to do that. I think it's your traps, dude. Yo, yeah, one day I woke up and I just couldn't <laughs> move anymore. Doorways didn't work. It sucked, dude. <laughs> 